Are there dead bugs in your lipstick? Hi guys! Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Carmine, which is an ingredient in a ton of different cosmetics, and I want to talk to you a little bit about what it is and if it fits into your version of cruelty-free makeup. So Carmine is a red dye. The issue that lots of vegans have with Carmine is that it comes from a beetle that has to be crushed in order to get the red dye. So they basically crush up thousands of pounds of bugs to make the red color in most of your cosmetics, including cosmetics from a bunch of cruelty-free brands like Anastasia Beverly Hills, Wet n Wild, tons of them all have Carmine in them in order to get those really rich red and pink shades. It is in a ton of different products and it goes by different names, which I will list right here for you. I think Carmine is probably the most popular that I see most of the time, but they try to sneak it in under a bunch of different names. So how can a brand be cruelty free if they're crushing up bugs to put in your makeup? I talk about this a little bit in some of my other videos, so I will link those above for you in one of the info cards. But basically, cruelty-free and vegan are two sides of the same coin, but they're not the same thing. If a product is not tested on animals at any point in its creation, then it is cruelty-free. However, it can still contain animal-derived products, such as honey, beeswax, carmine, lanolin from sheep, and still be considered cruelty-free as long as it's not tested on animals. You'll also want to note that Carmine isn't just in cosmetics, it's also in tons of food you eat in order to get them dyed red. At this point in my journey, I still am purchasing products that have Carmine in it. However, that being said, I don't kill bugs in my house, I don't smush mosquitoes when they bite me, I just like gently blow them off. So I will straight up say that I'm being a little bit hypocritical in not caring about Carmine in my makeup. And I fully admit that that might change for me one day and I might want to stop purchasing products with Carmine in it. People's stance on certain things change all the time. For example, there was a point in my vegetarian journey where I felt okay eating fish, so I was more of a pescatarian. I no longer do that. I think it's important to keep in mind that different people are at different points in their journey towards living a cruelty-free and animal product-free life. So I think it's important to accept people where they are and encourage them to move in a direction of less harm, more kindness and compassion, but that looks a little different for everybody. I'm a really big believer in educating, but also accepting people. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. I will do my best to answer. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you learned something, if you liked the content, it really helps my page out. And hit that subscribe button so we can keep going on a cruelty-free journey together and learning more about this lifestyle with each other. Thanks for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye.